Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Well, my name is Mike Salazar, and I'm. Uh, this is the channel for Dr. iPhone and Mac PC. In this channel, you will be seeing iPhone repairs and laptop repairs. Most of the time will be most of the time will be on Apple devices, but I also work on any brand: Samsung, Google Phone, just name it. Uh, the reason of this uh, uh, video is I have this iPhone 6s. Uh, just got it. Uh, the customer emailed me. You know, this is uh, a customer from West Virginia. I am in Virginia, and uh, uh, he got me through my uh, Facebook page. Uh, that I will post the link on the, on every video that I do. I am working on my web on, on the website, and this is not done yet. But I am receiving already repairs from my Facebook uh, page again there has been in there since like 2001 or 2005 I did repairs and Apple devices iMacs and so on in Costa Rica where I'm from and uh, now I am living in Virginia USA so I am also uh, a mechanic on my day job uh, I worked to like four as a mechanic and uh, I'm a master technician and I loved also, you know, working on phones and so on. So I hope that you guys like the content. And uh, let's start taking this phone, not yet apart, but uh, the first thing that I usually do, because uh, definitely the, the email that the customer sent me, he said that the phone is not even booting. He took this phone to someone else, and they said it's not fixable. So I am not even know what I'm going to, to find when I open it. It, it looks... At least they got put together okay. Uh, he said that he tried to plug it and charge it, and it's, it doesn't do anything. So that's the only story that I know about this device. So the first thing that I do, I have this uh, external power. This is just a battery, and I have this. Uh, hopefully, it's shown in the video. I have this. This is a USB uh, amp and volt meter that you can connect to your devices. So with this one. Is the quickest and easy way to see if I have any any life going into into this. I know this cable is good. That's the one I use in my phone, and uh, yeah, the battery went off because it's not being a draw to the phone. Okay, now I have a draw in there for a, for a second for like 480 milliamps. Let me turn this around. I hope the angle of the camera is good for you guys to see what I'm doing. Uh, I have a CXW already open on an iPhone uh, 6S, which this is it. So now definitely it's, in, it's not doing anything. Uh, first, uh, it's, it's coming. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, were able to capture that, but it went f from zero to like 480 milliamps. Uh, it, there is again. So it's trying to do something. But it's not on a steady draw, and like you see, uh, this uh, battery, if it's not a constant draw to it, it's not going to stay it on to save uh, power. So it's a constant five volt coming out, and then, uh, it's nothing happening. But I can see a glitch. Hopefully, you guys will be able to capture that right there. Hopefully, that was on the camera good in there. All right, so we definitely need to take this apart. So. Yeah. 
this is true. All right, so this is Antenna plug itself. That's it. Alright, now we can put this on the side as well. Put this. Trying to use fancy boxes, but no, that didn't work. Alright, we can take these glasses out. We don't need them no more. And let's take a look under the board. Well, we need to get that uh, sticker out, but I like to see around to see if I see any signs of uh, removal before. And no, we still recording here. Well, actually, in order to do that, I have to do it with the so many things in here I know it's a small desk but that's all I have so let's uh, start recording okay we are recording like that I can add that to the to the video later it's like I said everything looks really really original I was looking at the bottom, um, sort of the upper uh, water sticker, and I don't see anything of moisture in there at all. This phone looks like brand new. I swear, even the pins on the SIM card, it doesn't seem like it's being used many times. No hair. Usually you see stuff in here. Hmm. So let me, actually, you're not being able to see too much like this so let me stop the video one second so I don't do too much shake yeah I think that's the zoom that you guys would like to see from now on again you cannot really see everything I'm seeing on the screen but the camera it shows probably like a 65 percent of what I can see truly to the on the microscope so I got some sort of a white hair in here these feathers are a bent I use it for something the other day and that really damage it but you usually need to have some some good ones and some bad ones. Yeah, this sticker has not been removed by anyone. The glue at the bottom is still attached very well. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
in front of you. Let's lift this up to see the capacitors and resistance uh, under here. Big finger in there, huh? Just gently pulling it. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to reuse it, but I want to get that a sticker, that glue with this with this a sticker out. Hopefully, you can see that the phone is very, very in good shape. So I'm not going to stick this to the board. I mean, to my uh, table yet. Okay, this is the this is the water uh, sticker that I was telling you. As you can see, it's white, so it looks like it's no. Okay, so you guys can see that's the sticker. It looks like there's been no water on this board. And let me keep going here, removing this. I put it right on top of what I need to check. So I'm sorry, but you're going to the garbage. Two amps of draw without even. Connecting the, I mean, turning the phone on. That is a lot. I'm fighting this sticker, which it sucks because it's coming in pieces. And it's leaving a little bit of a trace behind, but I'm trying to peel it off as much as I can. Taking my time and looking around as well when I'm doing this. So I just took, you know, to tell you guys a little bit about what I do is I take only mail-in repairs, no walk-ins. So if you want or you need uh, to send any phone to uh, to fix, uh, again I will now link uh, to my page in Facebook and or onto my email. You can contact me and uh, I tell you where to send it. I mean, all the information is in my Facebook page too, as well. And uh, our policy is, if we don't fix it, we don't charge you, and we will pay the shipping back to you if you want your device back. If we tell you that, you know, if it's a, a water damage and you want to leave the phone with us. We will give a 25, uh, sorry, a 10% discount on the next repair. 25, oof, that would be a lot, right? <laughs> no, we need to make some money. Uh, this uh, policy of uh, return shipping pay for us is only valid in the United States, so, and that in the continuous uh, 48 states, so no Virgin Islands or so. Okay, we got rid of that nasty sticker. And in here, let's take a look a little closer. And make sure we are zoom in fine. And that we can all see good. I like to get, you know, a little closer to to the board to see if we see any burn. Usually on this, uh, well, you guys are seeing that right, right? So let me zoom to you. Okay, usually on these areas, you know, not specifically here, but what you're looking for is around here, 
it will have a hole when it burns. Alright, my next goal, let's uh, just take a quick look here. I don't see any damage on the connectors. Again, this, this phone looks like it has never been taken apart, so I don't know why the customer told me that he sent it to somebody and they couldn't fix it. I guess they didn't open it, or I mean, maybe they just tried to do some software. Uh, the, the screw holes are good. This one. So this one, let me show you under. Let me make sure that we can get a good zoom in there. All right, so right inside there. Uh, it's where if you put a long screw, it will damage the board. I'm trying to get you know a little bit more light, but the auto focus uh, takes it off, so I can see in a really. So that's the next one, and it's in perfect condition. And the next one, the third one, which is this right here in the corner, oh, you guys cannot see. Okay, that's the one. So we, the three screws, the three hole screws are perfect, no damage in them, which is good. The connector for the screens and everything in here looks in perfect condition. I don't see any water intrusion so far. Got a little bit of a something in there. Hopefully you guys can see that uh, fifth pin has... something in there and this is what is important to do a check okay so let's take a look and see what we got there and for that we're going to go over to uh, all right, so I don't need to move this one too much to CXW and it will be on the other side of the board you guys can see a little bit of that right no matter what uh, I'll try to do a zoom for you. So let's change the window, look to the A part of the board. And we're going to zoom in here. So that is connector to J3100. And we says the fifth pin, right? 245. 245. And that is a ground. Okay, so that will be not really a problem because we got a ground on the other side or right next to them. But still, let's clean that up. And that will give us a problem, you know, with the... Probably that was me. It looks like blue. Yeah. Yeah, that is glue. Alright, never mind, guys. False alarm. That was part of the glue that we remove. Yeah, every, everything looks, I mean, look at this. It's crystal clear, clean. Everything is perfect. Okay, so I don't see any anything that can point me to a damage in here. So let's, let's get the sticker out from the other side. So the sticker that I'm going to remove is this one, and for this one, uh, for in order to remove this, we need to heat it up. <coughs> so I get my uh, hot air station uh, coming on, and uh, that one is very, very quick. I usually work in like uh, 320 to 350, and uh, I usually put, you know, like. 40% or four uh, on the air. All I'm doing is just hitting the the sticker out to remove it. I noticed that, or I have found that is the best way to do it. Just go around quick. You'll feel it on your hand too when the board heats up. All right, that's all we need. Let's try to. Remove this from one corner. Should have done the, this with the, the knife, but we'll see. Well, 
always try to be careful. You know, the heat is a good thing because it takes the makes the seeker take the glue with it. Okay. You see it's coming out very, very clean, which is perfect. That's what you want. And that is a perfect remove sticker. So let me put this on the backs with the phone. Trying to clean this out of the desk. Not make too much garbage in here. And let's put those screws away before we make a mess. I have a drawer here on the under on the right side, so alright see. Again let's take a look and see if we have or if we can find something related to like water damage or so. guys can see that better okay perfect so I'm gonna change our CXW to the other side again trying to zoom out take a better having a bigger approach of the of the whole phone or sorry the board yeah that's a little better most most for you because I can see pretty much everything on my microscope and again it's not the same in the camera this phone looks a hundred percent original No signs of liquid. Uh, we got this. This here looks like flux. That looks really original too. This is in many here and the camera is moving. Oh, sorry, that was me. Um, trying to see what I can uh, get easy to check for BCC main on this side. That is not too small. Okay, that's a dry star. Let's see right here.
And I'm doing this because I don't have my, uh, okay, right here. So we found this BCC main. So BCC main, looking at here, it will be the first corner one. So I'm going to focus the view there. So you have a, a big one and the small one, and it's on the left side of the, am I correct? Yeah, on the left side of that capacitor. So, um, well, we can use either one. This is already on. I like uh, Cyclin. It's a uh, very good quality on my uh, power supply and uh, this bench meter is is really really good. I don't like it has a very small um, letters for me. Sometimes it's a little hard for me to see. So we're going to go into dial mode. Okay. So in that case, since we're going into dial mode, okay, let me. Make sure we got the two leads not making a mess in here. So we're going to go red to ground, any ground. I'm going to try to, let me put a, I wanted to secure that uh, board to my bench. And I have one piece of uh, captain tape in here, but I mess it up. So let me get another one. What is this? It just came apart. All right, so I need to cut this off. Like to put pieces of captain tape and have it ready for when I have to secure a bore. I mean, this this is what I use. This is heat resistance, and uh, and it works perfect for that too. All right, so we can put that there. We can put that here, and I want to secure the bore. I mean, I'm not going to apply any heat yet. I just want to make sure that we are steady and it's not moving for you guys or for me. So again, positive lead to uh, ground and we need to go to the left side of that one, which is right here. And as you can guys here, we have a short to ground on BCC main, as I said. Yep. We got a short to ground, BCC main. It's kind of like my daily work. All right, so we have a short to ground, BCC main. That's why this phone is drawing uh, two amps. That's very, very common. With experience, you know, working on this for so many years, it's even that, you know, you have 6S and then 7 and 7 plus. It's, when you see that kind of uh, amperage draw, it's, it's most likely that. So I wanted to. Uh, check these new leads that I have in here too. Where are you guys? I might put it away. Yeah, not, a, not now. Okay, so we got a short to ground. I need to do something. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, off camera. I was uh, looking to try my. Uh, I got these uh, tips from uh, Fluke. Again, I will put the description on, or the part number on the description of this video. They're rated for uh, CAT 2, which what we're doing is more than killing. And they uh, they just feed over your, these are supposed to be needle pros, but they're not as, as small as I need. So these ones are insulated all the way to the front, and they're very, very, very sharp. So. Very good. So the test that we need to do on this, we already know that we have a, a short to ground on, on BCC main. So again, we need to make this as quick as possible. So the easiest way to do this is to create a, 
you know, and he create heat. So the, the, the way we need to do this, I'm going to inject power on uh, BCC main. So again, we already know where, where we can go. I'm going to use a channel one. Let's adjust uh, channel one. So I'm going to drop it down to like two volts, at least to start. And um, let's change the amperage to the two amps that we have already to see what heats up on the on the board. I mean, we can put even three volts in there. This BCC main. Let's, but no, let's just start with two volts. Let's do that. So, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to inject power in there, and then touch it. That's what I also put myself some gloves in there to see what I, you know, if I can feel anything heating up. Obviously, I haven't started the the test, but let's see. So we're gonna grab ground in one of the bolts uh, all here and this is why you need to have you know very sharp so this is perfect so let's turn the power on so right now I have the power on and I'm not touching anything so we definitely do have the two amps of uh, draw in there I'm just going to hold it a little bit in there Hopefully you guys can see my power supply. I'm trying to, you know, whatever is shorting is going to heat up. Alright, so let's uh see if it's in this side of the board. Hopefully I don't have to remove the shields on the other side. Another thing that you can do when you apply that um current, uh that current on onto the board. Is quickly use some uh, alcohol to spread around to see if it dries up. And I don't see anything yet. So, well, you guys can see that was how the alcohol dries up. I need to zoom a little out, trying to get the, a better look of the bore. I know I'm a focus for you too. Right, so let me move my uh, perfect. I get you guys to where you can see everything. I now can see all this side, a hundred percent. I know you will not be able to see everything as I am. I'm trying to move the camera so it's in the same position as I am. This is so hard with these cables to keep it as straight as as you are. So we're being recording for like 40 minutes. I forgot to stop this one. <laughs> okay, so. Alright, let's focus on what we're doing. Let's do this again. And the power is still ready to go in here. And we are injecting two amps. You can only do this kind of stuff in BCC main. Don't try to inject this kind of uh, power, you know, voltage and, and amperage to anything else. You will cook the phone even worse. This one looks in very good shape. Hope I can fix it. His main concern is to recover the, the data. But if if I can fix it for him. I'm trying to find I have to take the bottom shield off. Because all these capacitors and all these diodes and so on, they look just good. And that's just the way it is. You have to work yourself around. So I kind of felt the heat somewhere around here. 
it was hard to say if, if he was on this side of the board or on the other side of the board so let me take the shield from this side So let's put the bore hole with capping tape here. Let's get the tweezers to pull that shield out. You can put this away. Make sure I have everything ready for what I'm doing. So just so you guys can see, I am putting my tweezers in here. And I'm gonna try to lift, so I need to put another um, another one right here. You gotta be careful when you put it in here with any of these connectors as well. So focus onto the side where the shield is, uh, and then just work yourself around. So again. This corner is when I'm going to put pressure. So let's get this gun. I'm going to raise it up to like 350. This is really, really good. Super fast. Air, I keep it in four. Actually, it's in four and a half. It should be okay. Yeah. So let's get the microscope out of my way. Sorry guys, you're not going to be seeing too much. Need to get this out. Just work yourself around the edges. You want to... You will hear the distinctive uh, cracking on the... shield coming off let's put a little bit of a pressure the map that I have is uh, rated for 900 uh, so it's coming off already beautiful okay all right we got that out let's uh, see what we see This shield I gotta let it cool down. Cause uh, this mod is rated for like 900, 900 and something uh, Fahrenheit. All right, so let's see what we can see here. We got that horrible. paste in there that is it's a heat paste too so that is not abnormal Let's see if I can scrape that out so yeah this is yes heat paste very very normal to have it in this side Well, my wife just told me that if I want some coffee and a toast, and obviously yes, let me respond that to her. Or a chicken sandwich, ooh, that sounds even better, right? Respond to her. It's a little hard to type with the globes. All right, back into 
business. Now you understand what I love uh, to have those uh, wives uh, here. This is just a normal thing. And let's scrape it out this way. I had to get rid of it. I need another one. This one is really dry. Gotta get. They should make these ones bigger. This is just like so small. Or I haven't found it. I don't know. better because it's, it's a little bit more wet than the one I just threw away. I don't want you to fall in there because I need to see every point. Let's pick this up with this one. Put this away. And now let's clean this with this. Messy. I mean, we need to clean this in order to see where our heat source is coming from because, like I said, it's definitely coming from here or the other side on this corner. So let's clean this up. Okay, some compressor in here. All right. Now, before we apply heat again, I mean not heat. Uh, Take this Captain Tay from here. This one we don't need no more here. I'm not even sure if I need the other one. I can get rid of uh, the holding of the board for now. Because we're going to apply current again and see if we can get this. Uh, find out which size the one is producing the, the heat as you guys can see hopefully yeah this is what you gotta protect you know make sure the connectors don't get any heat on it I don't want to remove all the covers I want to see if I can find any obvious source of heat and I'm not sure I will be looking at anything in here that looks like that. It's our processor, 89. That Hisenka is just messy. Fine, I don't see anything. 
Let's see if we can find a uh, BCC main on this side of the board. So I'm switching into the A side, which is what we are now. And okay, we have BCC main here, right? So can we get into probably maybe here? Let's see. That's a little tight of a space, or right under this heat shield, probably that's the best one, yeah. Mm -hmm. So look like we should have, right, right, this is with the shield removed on this side, so right next to this uh, soldering point uh, for the shield, which is just, that's exactly what we're looking at right there. So let me actually do a zoom on the screen so you guys can see better too. Yep, perfect. <coughs> So we'll be using L4 uh, 4040 on the right <coughs> on the right side, and that's exactly what we're looking at in there. Let's move this one. I don't need to be showing anything in there. Trying to make this camera stay. All right, so that is that big black one next to this. Uh, I'm gonna point. So we're talking about this one. So I'm going to be using this side. That's exactly the L L440, and I'm gonna click in here just to so make sure that this is BCC main. And yeah, that's BCC main. One good thing about. Uh, um, CXW, like uh, you can see, uh, Blackfish is now blinking. You can go over to the uh, um, schematic, and it will open immediately. And, and it, w it work either way. So if you're in uh, the schematic and you want to find it on uh, on CXW, you just click on the on the component, and it will take you straight there. One thing that I have found uh, is like if you see here, it says the pin one. Is BCC main power. If we go over to C, uh, CXL, I guarantee you that CXL is said is pin 2. So it's a little bit of a discrepancy, uh, discrepancy in there. So right now we are in, uh, let's see if it says pin. I'm not sure you guys will be able to see that, but right here it says pin number L44040. It says the BCC main is in number 2. So if we go back here, you see it says BCC main is in pin number one. So that's a little discrepancy, but the main, the, the most important thing is that we, that we are 100% sure that that's BCC main. So that side is BCC main. So I'm going to, again, apply power. Oof. It's going to be a little hard. I got the, um, the power supply is off right now, so trying to poke make sure you know we get no no problem to hit in anything so yeah it should be no problem I'm gonna have to move the red lead to my left hand sorry to my right hand and we can use the bolt screw holes right here as a ground it should be all ground as you can see in L40 It's not a capacitor, that's not a ground, so, but still, that's uh, BCC main. We don't have a capacitor right on this side, so. Yeah, we have one right here. So this should be ground, as you can see. And that's BCC main. Just trying to go around to see if we need any other point. Uh, no. So let's, let's use L440. Stay right here. So that's L440. We got the ground and the uh, screw hole, which is the easiest way to do. And we're gonna just poke it like this here. So let me turn my uh, power supply side one on. So we're in three and a half volts and three amps. We 
you're drawing 3 amps something caught on fire something is smoke It's unbelievable, it just gets warm. This is annoying, and that's a you know, sometimes it's just hard to find. That's not even an alcohol. Uh, can you apply three amps in a steel? Don't see anything is smoking, huh? And it's definitely here. I mean, not saying I'm on this side, but it's definitely on, on this side of the, I mean, on this section of the board. Let's say left and right. So let's increase the voltage. I'm gonna put four volts to see if we can get you know more amperage or heat. Okay, we're gonna go again the other side of the board. Since we already click on VCC uh, main, it shows you know everything. All there is in red right now is BCC main, so we can click into anywhere or find another spot to to inject our power. Something that we can use. There is not a, a risk situation, and uh, probably here. Have you guys seen that? Uh, yeah, that's not really too much in the view, but so that's a capacitor right there. And this eye is PCC main. As we can see on uh, CXW, obviously, this is uh, with that part of the shield removed. So this component is actually not visible because it's sandered that, that shield that we have here. Kind of like, you know, let's call this a shield, right? All right, so let's try this one more time. So I'm going to put the ground on ground and <clears throat> see how that goes so we're using the first one right yep first one a little hard to hold the board put the two leads and it goes down to nine four of a bolt and three amps to draw It's gonna hold it in there. I can use the free spray too. I'm gonna to hold it in there for a little more. I mean whatever is bad is gonna burn either way. We can replace it, but I need to either get the data out of this phone or find it. It's already you what I have done so in order to free up one of my hands I put a an alligator clip onto one of the grounds on the board I have now the power supply into two bolts 3.2 amps and what I'm going to do because it was very hard to find you know with a um, free spray sometimes it's very handy when you have a capacitor there is the issue which is not the case in here so I'm going to to move the camera a little bit so I can see what I'm putting my power 
So I'm putting, you know, right now my power into VCC main. This is off. It would be good if it's on. Let me wet the applicator again. Make sure we got plenty of alcohol. Alcohol is also a very good source of, uh, or a very good way to, to find, you know, heat. It dissipates very quick. So right now we're drawing 3.2 amps, 0.82. So it's gonna leave that uh, connected in there. And as you can see, as soon as I put it, it just rises up, kind of like in this corner. See. If I put it here, it stays a little bit. Obviously, it's getting hotter and hotter. So we know that it's definitely coming from here. All right, so I hope that you guys can see that. Uh, now, let me make sure I'm in the right side because it's a little late. You get tired. So, yeah. This is U2000. Let's find VCC main again. I know VCC main is in here, so that's that's the capacitor I was using to inject my power. And that's a lot too much. So we have all this in here that is VCC main. Let's say that I'm not suspecting it is U2000 yet. I mean, it can be the chip for sure. But it can be also be one of these capacitors, right? So we have C2086, we have C2087, and all these are small ones, you know, C2089, which is, you know, the corner that I feel the heat kind of like reacting more. So let's see if we see any the coloration or anything different in there right because that's where the heat is coming I'm trying to adjust the microscope to get a closer look bear with me in there you gotta play with this a little bit because otherwise I'm gonna have to remove that sheep and I don't want to do that so we're saying that pretty much everything that surrounds this uh, U2000 in here are BCC mains. So any of these capacitors could be the, the problem. And we have to make sure that they're the ones that are really next to the cheap. So two, two big ones and two small ones. Two big ones and two small ones. Uh -huh. We have a one in here that is a different color. All right, so we can probably start with that one. Because that is definitely a capacitor. And it has a different color. That's what you're looking for. Because if I am correct, so again, looking into CXW, we have two big capacitors, you know, size wise, and then two small ones together. So for you guys to see better, so we have, I'm gonna grab the cursor, we got two big ones and then two small ones. As you can see, this is yellow, 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 and this, this is a little darker, right? So, not to be lazy, but I don't want to, you know, re a chip that I don't have to uh, mess with if the problem is one of the capacitors. Because if you see, you know, everything around, everything else that is BCC main, it has a very distinctive, distinctive, well, it has a very even color, an easier word for me to say. All right, so that's the side that we have no issue, let's say, and we have this, this one here that I'm thinking on removing. 
and of course it's full of glue because it's right next to that chip all right so let's try that because I mean this is the way you you gotta do it because otherwise I'm gonna have to remove this U2000 and I don't want to do that yet let me make sure the camera can focus focus a little better for you guys and that's it so hopefully you can see the, the coloration in there and if I can find my knife which I have here well I'm gonna need you so let's we need to remove that uh, as much as we can of that glue actually let me take this uh, ground lid out of here because those alligators are very strong that's when I pick up that corner because that corner is a uh, it has a hole for the screw on the other side so and just the crown on that side so it, it's not going to damage anything in there you guys are not really looking too good alright and come on what is going How's that? Yeah, that works. Well, let's see. It's going to work in here. Because it's very, very close to cheap, right? Need to remove this glue or resin, whatever is that. Let's try to apply a little bit of a heat. It always works. Yeah, I know, I got no gloves, but, you know, I'm not doing too much. I want to see what kind of reaction we get from that. This one, I heat up the board a little bit, too. Right in that area. All right, that should be good. I got 350 degrees in there. That thing is just so close to the board. I mean, to the to that chip that is gonna be very impossible to to clean even with my knife in here. What else can I use in there? I gotta understand. This is so tiny. Hmm. I got this uh, tweezers I saw from uh, Jason on STS. They're very good. So tight. And yes, I'm using my best tweezers for this. What else can I use? If I can change the knife tip or plate. Or something else. What did I do with my knife? I'm not sure if I have anything sharper than that or smaller than that. Alright. Put this plate here. I'm trying to grab this one. This one has a, a smaller shape and my feet in there better. If I can put this in here, yeah, that works out. And let's tie this up. I'm going the wrong direction. I am I doing something wrong in here? What? works and we're just gonna set up that blade in there for now let's see how that looks in there see what I mean it's a little shorter plus it's brand new so 
trying to remove the junk. I got the board secure with Captain Tape. I hope this is the problem. Having a whole day of work and then coming to do this, it, it gets your brain tired too. But I, I really enjoy this. I have always, since I was a kid, enjoyed the working on cell phones and laptops. And I mean, definitely you start with like little electronics, nothing serious. Press there to clean that up. Uh, let's get the hat tweezers in here. See if I can uh, put heat straight to that. And let's remove the micro pencil, which I think is on this side. But I need this one so need to get this one in there I'm trying to not heating up the board see if that works It's going to be a little weird position for my hat tweezers. Hopefully this works. It's just a weird position. Am I in a sleepy mode? What? I know why, because this is reading this. Alright, now we got power. I'm cheating a little bit in there. I don't have the, well, I do have the base for the um, hat twisters in here, but it's not connected to the, to the sense. But since I had the other one in there, it works the same as long as I got the tip in there. Nope, I need to clean that better in order to move it or remove it. So let's get some more hot air. Airflow. Gotta be careful with this temperature. Let's get some flux in there. see something melting before I destroy this and obviously you're dirty too 
story of my life. <laughs> Alright, let's put a drop of flux in there. Because that's going to help us see when we raise the temperature and we don't damage things around. I hate that glue. Alright, let's see. Let go again. You have to work with what you got, right? So, I know it's not the best position for my hotter station to be, but that's the best I can do here. And all I need is that to move. As soon as I can see that that is melting. Knock it out. Let's evenly move the heat. Get the fucker off. I know it's not the cleanest job, but everything else is fine. And now is the moment of truth. Wanted to let it cool down a little bit. Yeah, this is still very hot from obvious reasons. Just wanted to see if it, this takes the short out, then I can clean the glue around and just work in there. You get my point? Because otherwise, I, I'm going to remove this U2000 in order to, to see because I don't see any anything else a different color or nothing it was just that, that one so uh, ba uh, based on that the one right next to it's the same uh, the same uh, type pretty much one two three four like uh, let me point let's say not not really this one is not exactly the same size as that one, but this one is. And as you can see, the color of the top of this one is the same color of the top of this one, even that they're a little smaller. And <clears throat> based on what I can see on CXW, so one, two, three, and then the fourth one, right? That's C2093. It's the same as this one. It's actually the same as this one too. It has the same microfarad, 2.2, 2.2. So C2093 and 2090 are exactly the same. So guys, let's cross our fingers. And yeah, the board is now not too hot. And now let's use this. Um, can we use continuity? Can we use whatever, right? So, um, let's move this out of the way. And I can use either one. All those around are VCC main. So, these two are BCC main, and now I still got a short. <sighs> yes, we still got a short. We got an open here. On the one 
sick. And how can we have an opening there? That is BCC main. Wow. <laughs> that little bit of a resin or whatever is in there wasn't not letting me make contact. I'm like, wait a second, that should be ground, so I might do something wrong. And nope. So, we got a short to ground. See, that little resin doesn't let it touch. So we removed one component trying, but uh, didn't fix it. But either way, if I have to remove this one, I'm going to have to clean this whole thing around. So let's clean this a little better. So guys, nope, false alarm. That was not the problem. That was the only thing that I could see with a different color. So we have to keep going. Yeah, that's my finger in there. My nail. Tired, 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 looking for a chore. Sometimes you can see on the video better than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> 